Tony Abbott, tell me how the Ramsey Centre for Western Civilisation came about. Over quite a long period of discussion with Paul Ramsey. Paul was a, a great man and a great philanthropist. Uh, unlike so many uh, philanthropists, he didn't have a family uh, eager for an inheritance. And uh, I eventually summoned up the courage or the effrontery, if you like, to say to Paul, what is going to happen to your fortune after you're gone? Uh, because uh, you can give it to someone else, uh, you can make a lot of people rich, or you can make a difference. And eventually the idea came up of something like an Australian version of the Rhodes Scholarships, where Paul would try to ensure that our future leaders had a much better grounding in the essence of our heritage and culture than is often currently the case. And it's no mistake that I'm sitting here today with two Rhodes Scholars themselves, but mm. Tony, but again to you, why does it matter? Why does the fight about Western civilization matter? If you ask yourself, uh, what is the pinnacle of human achievement thus far? Uh, countries with democratic elections, with liberal institutions, with freedom and prosperity, and a measure of fairness for all. In other words, Western countries, particularly English-speaking countries, uh, this is uh, the greatest human creation yet. Uh, we should cherish it, we should celebrate it, Unfortunately, too many of us are ignorant of that which has shaped us. We're ignorant of the great books, we're ignorant of Shakespeare, uh, the New Testament. Uh, we've forgotten so much of our history, particularly British history. So the Ramsey Centre for Western Civilization is about trying to ensure that at least some of tomorrow's leaders have got the kind of formation, uh, intellectual, cultural, dare I say it, spiritual formation, which was once taken for granted. Well, Kim Bisley, you're, you're renowned as being the best Prime Minister that Australia never had, uh, but you're a Labor man through and through. What got you involved with John Howard and Tony Abbott to join the board of the Ramsey Foundation? Look, I wouldn't have done this 10 years ago. <coughs> I would have then had a level of confidence in the saliency and survivability of democracy that I no longer have. But uh, I've learned some lessons. Uh, some of them are practical ones, like six years I was in the US as an ambassador. You learned the value of a liberal arts education. You saw the way in which great colleges are set up in the United States simply devoted to the study of that. St John's College, the great books. You, know, you, go, you go through the United States and you see that an awful lot of young Americans get themselves grounded in what will be possible uh, from the Ramsey Centre. So that in practical terms is a good thing. But the Liberal International Project, which has dominated the world since World War II, the most unselfish gestures, both in security and economic terms, that allowed actually the globe to rise economically. The model is now massively under challenge, not least in the United States itself. And then you see the sort of the great conservative, liberal, social democratic, cross-cultural, cross-class, cross-community projects, which is what has dominated democracies for, well, for a long time, uh, that's fraying and is subject to challenge, uh, challenge by identity politics, which is sort of particularist, dangerously uh, demolishing of democratic institutions. And then finally, the kids. You know, there was a period in the 90s of, of great confidence in democracy, with the collapse of the Soviet Union, mm -hmm. the spread of democracies to the countries not only that were previously uh, communist, but also uh, countries which were military dictatorships and the like. And really the last decade or so, if you look at some of the great international opinion polls like Pew Research, you're going through now a period not of democratic construction, but democratic deconstruction, with the biggest fall of confidence in democracy in the Anglosphere. And it's among the kids. Now the kids are not with identity politics, but you do not want us to lose the grip that we have of the structure, the fundamentals of democratic ideology, and that's what Tony was talking about.